translocation can be described as an exchange of genetic m material between chromosomes and um, what happens the genetic material from one chromosome a segment of chromosome is transferred to another and uh, between many types of translocation it's worth to mention Robertsonian translocation in this case long arms of two chromosomes they would fuse at the centromere and they will form single chromosome Reg Robertsonian translocation uh, can happen in chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21, and 22 for the reason because short arms of these chromosomes are very small, tiny, and they really don't have any essential genetic material. So uh, when this happens, when the translocation happens, in Robertsonian case, the short arms are lost completely during the next cell divisions. So in Robertsonian translocation uh, can happen that there is loss of no important genetic material and uh, your individual will have only 45 chromosomes in each cell and they will present as a normal individual they won't present with any disorder uh, because again there is no essential material lost in this case on the other hand their offspring can have monosomies and trisomies common Robertsonian translocation that I want to talk about is uh, the fusion of the arms of chromosome 21 and 14 and uh, when the baby is born from someone who has this uh, can receive an extra copy of the long arm of chromosome 21 and of course when we're talking about chromosome 21 we're talking about Down syndrome and yes the baby will develop Down syndrome so to talk about this more Robertsonian translocations are responsible for quite significant number ring chromosome occur when the telomeres of each chromosomal arm have been deleted and the broken arm join together and form a ring uh, the drastic consequence of this is the ring chromosome can actually trigger series of breakage and fusion bridge events which will cause continuous DNA breakage it's like a chain reaction and recombination of the chromosomal material so because of this the a ring by itself it's not a big danger but because of the chain reactions it can cause the ring patients with ring syndrome may display very diverse symptoms uh, resulting from uh, DNA breakage and recombination basically deletions of the chromosomal material will occur duplications and uh, the diverse presentation is just uh, uh, very very different but they always they have something in common and doesn't matter how they present the patients with congenital ring chromosomes they uh, show failure to thrive uh, and failure to thrive is a consequence of the fact that cells may not proliferate normally and uh, that will result uh, in failure to thrive and um, there is some school of thought that suggests that mitotic instability of the ring 
will prevent somatic cells again to proliferate normally. Basically again ring by itself it's not a big danger but the consequences or uh, that happens after formation of the ring that may cause uh, diverse presentation of the symptoms and the main thing is that patients will present with failure to thrive. Chromosomal breakage occurs again like in um, previously was said uh, physiological mechanisms trying to repair the break but unfortunate part of this that the break would heal differently than original chromosome and again uh, like in ring chromosome case this may result in diverse presentation of different um, abnormalities however uh, this may be very mild or this can be very drastic and uh, very, very unfortunate for the individual with this. Uh, so what can cause it? And ionizing ra radiation is notorious for this, chemicals, viruses, but again, um, this may affect chromosome in uh, autosomal structures and versus sex cells, but regardless, this breakage uh, when it happens in a chromosome the healing part unfortunately results of distortion of the structure of the chromosome and distortion of the DNA and uh, what I'm trying to say that healing isn't always good because it continues to alter the structure of the uh, chromosome Duplication is a relatively rare occurrence in alterations in chromosomal structure. What happens, the uh, repeated gene or gene sequence, sequence, I'm sorry, occurs. And uh, let's say a duplication occurred, the consequences, physical consequences should be much less severe than, let's say, deletion. How to explain it, again, we are going back to the beginning of the lecture when we were saying that more genetic material is much better than less. So when we are deleting something, of course, uh, having a viable um, infant is or viable fetus is much more uh, difficult than adding something like in trisomy 21. So one of the examples of duplications, what can happen um, again in the short arm of chromosome 5 and you all remember that it was the Credusha syndrome and actually found a French speaker to say Credusha. And again it's Credusha. Credusha. And in Credusha syndrome, we remember that not only uh, mental retardation was happening, but several physical abnormalities, such as um, microcephaly. If duplication occurs in this short arm of chromosome 5, there will be no uh, physical presentation, but the infant still will have uh, physical, uh, I'm sorry, infants still will present with mental retardation. So if it's duplication in the short arm of chromosome 5, fragile sites are uh, uh, sites that the breaks or gaps within chromosome, and actually those can be seen via microscope when the cells are cultured or developed. And um, there is really no evidence that this may be related to some disorder in most of the fragile sites. However, uh, you may already heard about fragile chromosome X syndrome or fragile X syndrome. So most important feature of this is uh, presentation of mental retardation. It's fairly prevalent in population. One in 4,000 males will develop it and one in 8,000 female. 
why there is such a distinct ratio between male and female, 4,000 versus 8,000. This can be explained by the fact that females have two X chromosomes versus males have only one. So in fragile X chromosome, females will inherit the mutation. They do not necessarily express the disease, but uh, the male w who inherits the disease will express the condition because the male has again only one chromosome. So that's why the prevalence is uh, two times more in males versus females. And uh, again the female who carries uh, fragile X uh, syndrome or may not present it herself but can pass it to the next generation. So to finish this uh, statement or this slide, again, most of the fragile sites will not be presenting any relation to the disease, only fragile X chromosome. So when fragile X chromosome occurs, it occurs on the long side of X chromosome, will be related to mental retardation and again it's one of the most common genetic disorders and it will occur uh, it will be second compared to Down syndrome and again the highlight of this uh, slide that males will have higher uh, occurrence because there is only one X chromosome